I just want to welcome you to this pre-recorded podcast of Real Sex Talk 101. I am Jonathan Black, and thank you for joining me. Um, you can follow the page on Twitter. We are on Twitter. Follow us on Twitter. We're on YouTube, so um, you can find us on YouTube, Real Sex Talk 101. We have two pages, so you put in one. Both of them will come up, so follow both those pages uh, follow me on Facebook, Jonathan Black. My um, fan page is Jonathan Black. Follow that page as well. And if you can find me on Facebook, Jonathan Black, you can add me as a friend. and I will accept the request. But thank you for joining me. Like I said, this is Real Sex Talk 101, and this episode is why I do what I do. This episode, we won't really get into any uh, real sexual conversations. Uh, we will have some sexual talk, but it won't really be no sexual conversations. And this will not be a very long show. I just want to get out here and explain a few things. Um, <clears throat> for those of you who do not know me, I am Jonathan Black. I am not new to podcasting. Uh, I have bo- podcasted. I have done shows in the past. They were successful shows. And I'm back. I had a nice little hiatus. But I'm back to doing the things that I enjoy doing in life. And the things that make me happy. <laughs> happy. Happy. Happy me. Happy me. Yes. Our happiness starts and ends with us you yourself it starts and ends ends with you so like I said why I do what I do this show Real Sex Talk 101 I believe um, for one I'm a very sexual person <laughs> not even gonna hold you up excuse me <clears throat> I love sex I enjoy the act, the feeling, everything that comes with sex, sexual pleasures. I just love sex, sex, sex. Um, that's part of the reason why I'm here. You know, I love sex, so I want to talk about it. Um, and not just talk about it. There are some people out there who can use some help in that department. A lot of help in that department. And that's what I'm here for. Um, I believe it's a... And I know. I don't just believe. I know. Because it's women I've talked to. Uh, situation I've seen for myself. And just my own experiences. Thinking back to... When I wasn't as experienced as I am but a lot of men are not satisfying their women. They think they are, but they're not. They may be satisfying them, but they're not like completely, completely satisfying their woman. It's, it's, and some are just not satisfying them at all. There are a lot of dudes out there who are not good with women. They lack confidence. They lack being able to go out and be uh, what's the words I'm looking for? They lack the confidence to go out there and have the sexual experiences that they want to have in life. Let's just put it that way. Like, um, there's some 30-year-old virgins out there. There are some dudes out there who just don't know how to satisfy a woman. Like, they can get some, and then it's like, why she don't call me back? Or why she only let me hit it one time? Or why she ghosts me after we have sex? I mean, the same could be said for some women, but really, oh, in, in the sexual department, the way I feel, and this is just me, 
I get off. I completely and totally get I said we weren't gonna really get into a lot of sexual discussions, but here we go. But anyway, this is why I do what I do. But I completely and utterly get off on pleasing my woman. Like just feeling her emotions like for instance when I'm giving her head and I'm dictating the rhythm and she's in that rhythm and she moving and I'm moving with her I'm giving her good head and she's just all in it and she's all in it completely and utterly just all in it you feel it, her body movement, her moans, just everything from her essence coming from her. All the emotion, all all the movement, just all that turns me the fuck on. And I just enjoy pleasing her and taking her to that level of explosion, like blowing her fucking mind. No matter whether it's giving her head, no matter whether it's the massages, no matter whether it's the penetration, I get off on pleasing her. Like that's where a lot of men feel that. It's like if we spent more, if we spent time, like honestly, actually pleasing our women, because we are going to get off no matter what. As men. We are going, if we have sex with a woman, we fuck her long enough, we're going to get off. Like, we're going to bust our nut and get our orgasm regardless. Like, and but it's not guaranteed for the woman. The woman can have sex with you and she can enjoy it and not bust a nut. Not orgasm. She can enjoy it and not orgasm. And that's where a lot of relationships are at. Like, the woman is enjoying the sex with her mate, but she's not completely, utterly getting off. She's not even, it's not even, it's not even, like, like it's levels to this shit, right? When I say she's not completely, utterly getting off, it's some women that just not even fucking getting off. Like, they may be enjoying the sex, but they're not getting off. Then there's women that's not getting off and not even fucking enjoying the sex. And like, we going to get this it leads to another conversation where a lot of women end up cheating on their mates and they get away with it too they get away with it that's another conversation for another day but why I do what I do like I said I love sex I enjoy the art of sex I enjoy pleasing my woman me pleasing her pleases me me pleasing her pleases me. I can I, I can I can go and we can have a quickie, right? We can have a quickie. And I can get off. And she can enjoy it, but she won't get off. Like there are times where and it doesn't happen a, a whole it's not often. But there are times when you know I I just want to get off, right? I want my girl to get off, too. I want my woman to get off, but, you know, I want... It's like, I don't feel like having sex for a long time. I don't feel like having... I don't feel like going through... Because I have those moments, too, like... I enjoy sex. I love sex. But sometimes I don't... I don't want to have the long session. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I don't... I'm not up for the long sessions like every single time we do it. I'm not going to sit here and say I am because I'm not. Uh, but most parts, I am. But there are those days when I'm just like, want to bust a nut real quick. Like, man, we could, I just want to have sex for maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Bust a nut to get it over with, right? But at the same time, I want her to get hers too. So it's like, it's a quickie, but I got the saddest part satisfy her quickie quickie too to, and get my quickie because even though it's a quickie I, just, I don't want to fuck I don't want to fuck for a long time I just want a quickie I want to bust a nut I still want her to get hers too 
And a lot of dudes just like when it's like I want a quickie, I want to bust a nut. They don't, they don't even give a fuck about their woman. It's just like I want to bust a nut. And that's where a lot of people are at with sex, and a lot of relationships are at with sex. It's like they're not pleasing their mates. They just they just pleasing themselves, and it leads to a lot of problems in the relationship. That's why I do what I do, what I'm doing what I'm doing. I want to bring a lot of spiritual reality and a lot of sexual pleasure back to relationships. I want dudes to be able to be, have the confidence to go out there and to see a bad chick. And yeah, I am about, like, I, I do want relationships to be better. I want, I want to help people's relationships become better sexually and bring them closer together sexually. That's what this show is about. At the same time, I want that single dude that's out there that you know, we men, we, we, we're, we're human. And even though we're not, some of us may not be in a relationship, we not be seeing anybody, we still want to have sex. And we don't want to be fucking having sex with ourselves all the goddamn time. Right, right. It's like, ain't nothing wrong with masturbation. I masturbate here. I got a woman and we have sex on the regular all the time. I still have times here and there where I may masturbate. You know what I'm saying? Nothing wrong with that. We are all human. Um, but there are some guys out there that's just like, uh, damn, they not getting it. Like they not getting it how they want to get it. They doing more masturbating than they are fucking. I want to help that guy. I want to help that guy be able to gain the confidence to go out there. If he see a bad chick that he thinks a bad chick, and he want to holler at her. He holler at her, and somewhere on down the line, he have sex with her. He want to have sex with her. He knows he does. I want him to have the confidence to be able to go out there and have sex with her. And not just have sex with her, but please her. Please her. Make her bust orgasm 25 plus times in under 60 minutes. And even if it's not that, just please her. Because in pleasing her, he's going to really please himself. And in pleasing himself and pleasing her, she's going to want more. Therefore, after he have sex with that woman that one time, she's going to want more. Then he can get on the regular. I'm saying. And not only is he getting on the regular, maybe she wasn't getting it like she wanted to be getting it. And she let him get it. And the fact that she let him get it and he did it right and he knew how to do it, she's going to want him to do it again. So she's going to call him again. And this dude who was not getting it on the regular is now getting it on the regular. That's why I do what I do and why I'm doing what I'm doing. I want those females who are in relationships, those females who are married, who are having sex with their husbands, but they're not satisfied. They may be enjoying the sex. They may come here and there, but they're not coming on a regular. They don't get 25 plus in under 60 minutes or less ever. This show is for her as well. She will be able to show her mate Show her husband how to please her the way she needs to be pleased. It will help their relationship not go downhill. And even if it's a relationship that's not going downhill, if it's a relationship that's just stagnant, it will help it raise and be better. That's why I do what I do while I'm doing what I'm doing. Round of applause. Okay. <laughs> whatever, whatever, whatever. We'll work that out later. Um, I'm still in the process of getting my podcast studio together. It's not fully together, but it's like 95% there. I'm still waiting on a couple more items to come in the mail, and it will be all complete Komoto. So right now I'm doing this show right here. I don't have all the extra bells and